Today's recount comes as both sides are expecting at a hearing over the Board of Election decision to toss some ballots. CBS News' Jenna D'Angelo is live outside Queens County Supreme Court in Jamaica. Jenna? Chris and Mary, this race is a true example of the phrase, every vote counts. As preparations begin today for another recount, the lawyers for the two candidates, along with the Board of Elections, are expected to be here in court today over what to do with invalidated ballots. The ballot battle continues in the race for the Democratic candidate for Queens District Attorney. Queensboro President Melinda Katz holds just a 16 vote lead over public defender Tiffany Caban. A race so close, it's headed for an automatic recount. Let's take you back to primary night. Unofficial results had Caban in the lead 1,100 votes over Katz, which resulted in Caban declaring victory. We won the Queens District Attorney's Office. And there's a lot more days probably until a recount. Election night, there were 3,400 absentee ballots still to be counted. Last week, the final count of paper ballots pushed cats to the lead by just 20 votes. That thin a margin forces an automatic recount. At the Queens Board of Election Friday, lawyers for Caban and Katz got into a heated debate over disputed votes that could tip the election. Don't speak for me. I don't speak for me. We're talking about a situation where we're all going to court anyway. After some ballots that were tossed out were counted back in, Katz's lead shrunk from 20 to 16 votes. This was helped by people who came forward, including Joseph Moore, to say their votes were tossed by technicalities. I did not write uh, Democrat on the affidavit, even though I was, I've been registered as Democrat for years. That brings us to today. Along with the recount, the candidates' lawyers head to court for a hearing to decide whether to reinstate certain ballots that have been thrown out. The hearing is set to begin around 9.30 this morning, and that recount is expected to take about a week. Now, also today, the Queen's Democratic chair plans to hold a news conference to say, respect the results regardless of the outcome. We're live in Queen's, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.